Hey, it's Miraculous, and welcome to a very special episode. This is actually a collaboration with Asphodel Moon. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry, but I will tag her in my description box below. I kind of been MIA because I kind of been in school mode, but I had to come back to get this done. So the collab is a, a month. Um, in regards to your birthday so obviously my birthday is in march so my stone is aquamarine and i have to create a sim based on my birthstone so when i think of aquamarine i think of water because of course it's like bluish green um so of course me being such a studious girl i did a little bit of research just to kind of give you a background about what aquamarine is and sorry i want to be babbling a lot and i'm probably gonna slur my words because i'm lacking a lot of sleep so please don't mind me <laughs> so let's go ahead and begin um so aquamarine comes from the latin word aqua which means water and marina which means the sea so together it's the sea of color Ooh. <laughs> so aquamarine is actually not really a precious stone so there's four types of stones that are considered precious stones they're diamonds rubies emeralds and sapphires so it's kind of considered semi-precious i guess um a lot of uh people who are into crystals and spirituality they say aquamarine is like represents cleansing um and there are stories that back in the day that it was believed that aquamarine were um treasures of mermaids and sailors used to use it as a talisman for good luck so that is very exciting so of course i had to create a mermaid because that's the first thing that popped in my head way before i did this uh did this research um and sorry i'm going in and out <laughs> on the screen but you'll see where i'm going with this so as you can see, my mermaid here, I wanted her to look very mystical and mythical. I made her eyes really big, kind of like a fish. A lot of fish in the sea have really big eyes. So I wanted her to be able to see in the dark waters of the sea. And I made her ears specifically big on purpose, just so that she can be able to hear in far distances and stuff like that. I'm sure her scales and all her other parts of the body help her hear, but you know, just for the sake of creating this mermaid, that's what I thought on the back of my head. Um, I kind of went back and forth with her eyes. You'll see her, see it eventually, but I wanted her to look very friendly and cute and kind of like you can't get your eyes off of her almost. Um, I'm sorry if you hear stuff in the background. <laughs> it's like in the middle of the night. Um, but anyway, I definitely kind of struggled a little bit, but we definitely made her look beautiful and magical. So I'm not gonna talk throughout the whole video. I just kinda wanna give you a synopsis of what I did. Um, I named her Octa Rosa. Very random, but I have a reason behind that. So her story is that she is a very loved mermaid. She does have two beautiful mermaid parents. And she was actually born in a cave where red octopuses reside. So I just thought maybe I'll just name her Octa, which is short for octopus and Rosa for red. So her name is Octa Rosa. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people ask her a lot of questions about where her name came from and why she looks so strange, almost like extraterrestrial almost looking. Her eyes just gaze right through you, they're very piercing. Uh, but she is a beautiful woman, mermaid, inside and out. Um, a little bit more about her as well. Uh, I will change her hair to brown. So her hair actually turns brown when she's outside of the water, almost like it's kind of dying. Kind of like when you take a plant, a water plant, like a seaweed or something that grows under the water, out of the water, um, it does turn brown. And when, her, when she goes back into the water, specifically salt water, her hair turns blue again. So you'll see how she turns out. She's very beautiful. Um, and who knows, we might turn this into a story with her, but she, um, was a very curious mermaid and she wanted to see what was out there because, you know, let's say she was, she grew up in middle-class mermaid world. Like she pretty much was given everything and out of all her friends, um, she was always the one that wanted to see what was out there. So, um, she kind of went past the borders of where she was supposed to go and she saw some humans, specifically a human boy and actually not a human boy, a group of teenagers, but her eyes were like 
directed towards a specific guy and she was so interested she really wanted to know what was out there and who he was so that's the story of Octa Rosa she does go on earth and we don't know what she does. We'll see. So let me know if you want to know a little bit more about her or if you want to know the rest of the story. Her clothes are between fancy and not fancy. Um, I kind of want her to look like she got out of the water and grabbed whatever clothes were laying around or she went into people's backyard and grabbed them. Almost like that show. I forgot what the show was called. That's about a mermaid. Um, it's on Hulu. Um, but kind of like that, I didn't want her to look too fancy, but I wanted her to look like she just grabbed some clothes <laughs> and just put them on. So you'll see that she kind of looks a bit all over the place. Like her pajamas look all over the place. Her like winter clothes and like summer clothes. There's a purpose behind everything. I wanted her to look like weirdish. Um, like she's not from here. Like she doesn't know how to dress. The only outfit that looks really good is her, um, formal wear. Uh, but everything else is a little bit mismatched here and there. So I think that's all about her. If I think of anything else, I will probably type it. But this is it. If you have any questions, just comment below. And thank you again to Asphodel Moon for this collaboration. It was actually a lot of fun. I never really play with mermaids. I've actually never played with mermaids or I made my sim a mermaid once, but I totally forgot <laughs> my sim was a mermaid. And just so you know, I pretty much used all base game except um, a few lashes and like lipstick shades. And that's it. So I kept it very simple just in case if you want, guys wanted to copy it too. And I will upload this uh, on my... Uh, forgot what it, my gallery. I can't think right now. Uh, I'll pull all that information below. So I hope you enjoy.